Peyton Roman Trust here with Mission Forge, and today, guys, very special video I'm really excited about, and that is I'm going to show you guys how I convert a log splitter into a forge press. So I'm pretty excited about it. Now, this is a six and a half ton uh, log splitter. Should be more than enough for what I'm going to be doing. Um, I got a foot pedal for it already, so hopefully, you know, that will eliminate me having to figure out how to convert the push button. And all I got to figure out is the arm for it to retract. Just figure that out. Um, and uh, yeah, but so we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing. We're gonna show you with that, and you're gonna see uh, the whole process of putting it together and assembling it. Because I got the ones that came with legs. Because I didn't want to figure out how to make legs for it. it. Already came with legs. It was worth the extra thirty bucks or something. Now this model, it's like the when lumberjack something rather um, I got from Amazon originally it was on uh, it's like 300 and some odd dollars uh, but I had a hundred dollars off got it for like 200 bucks whatever so hopefully this will be a good enough type thing here uh, so that yeah, let's get into it yeah no it doesn't but the pitch showed that it did This end is already open. This one's open a little bit. Still got to open it, honey. You got to open the both sides. Oh, you mean this thing here? Oh. Yeah. Whew. Some assembly required? Some? Is it more like entirely? Wow, this thing looked like it was dropped. Does it? It's all, look how this all smashed up in here. Okay, I already like this company. Let me show you why in the instructions here. Two people required for this job. Convince a good friend or even a trustworthy foe to help before starting. That is fantastic. I love the humor. Cat! I'm gonna need to lift this bitch up on here. Mm -hmm. And you need my help for that? I need, I need either a trustworthy friend, I'm oh, sorry, I need a friend or a trustworthy foe. He would be the, tr the trustworthy foe. <laughs> trustworthy foe. <laughs> that thing's over 100 pounds. So, uh. <laughs> I, the two I of put us. it into the house. <laughs> Between the two of us. Where does it go? So, that little uh, square piece in the bottom there, it's got to get into here, and I got to somehow get this into here. Remember, lift your back. Short, twisting, jerking motion. I just textured that what you said to the pants are little bitches. <laughs> so these She's need probably to be laughing. Hold on. Two people. Sounds like three. Just need a line this stuff, I guess. All I need is like one or two screws in. Uh, to hold it in place. So what to do? It pushes the log through this. Yeah. Yep. So I'll use it. Yeah. I'll, so I'm going to use it as a log splitter first because I got logs. How much? I'm how, start, how much force does this have? Six and a half tons. Six and a half tons? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a problem. Oh God. Here we go. What's the problem? It's gotta be. It's gotta come down. 
Guys, it's Chinese. It's like top of the line. There's that one. There's that one. There's. Work complete. A second, so. Are you Wait. supposed to push on the back? So I don't have to push the button. Watch the magic go down with the hair. That's as far as it goes in, so. And once I let go of this. Cool. I say it split it. This is some hard wood too. So I figured what this is. This is simply a switch that doesn't necessarily make this engage. So if I push this, nothing happens. This is an on-off switch. Literally allows power to flow to here, which is what I don't want. What I want to happen is push the switch. This turns on. So I'm going to have to modify it so that... I will run this switch to the button. Somehow. Oh, there you have it guys. Just a quick video on unboxing and assembling and putting together the log press real fast. Um, I didn't really go through how to assemble it or anything like that um, at all. Now it looks like this thing was dropped. Um, you know, the bag that held the nuts and bolts and stuff was torn and they were spilled everywhere in there. So, you know, I'm not real happy about that. But overall, with the testing it and all that fun stuff, it came out well. And I learned that that foot pedal is actually a, uh, a just a, a, a like an on-off switch, okay? So it's not uh, a pedal that uses to bypass this. It's initially what I thought. I thought it was used to bypass the, um, the, the press. But it's not. It's just a switch. So it's like having two and on off switches on my press here. So we're going to come up with solutions on how to fix that. And look out for that video. That should come out probably. It can come out at the same time this video is or tomorrow or whatever. I'm going to try to get these videos out as fast as I can. Boom, 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 boom. So that we can get on to other projects. So that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful, entertaining, whatever. Um, probably not really helpful, but if you ha did like it, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, got any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell for more notifications. With that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.